what's up everybody i'm back with another video and today the video is over questions and answers and this is going to be specifically for me um because the last video i did questions and answers but it was for my siblings to answer so this time the questions are for me to answer and yes i did my own makeup anyways let's get started on these questions okay so the first question is um where are you from i'm from dallas texas um yeah that's really it i'm from dallas texas well part of dallas oak cliff i am from oak cliff <laughs> the sec another question is were you born without your arms yes i was born without my arms i did not get into a car accident or nothing happened i was just born without my arms there was no um actually to explain that in details there was no type of um reason for me not to have arms it was just that i was god made me like that and that was just it okay so another question is what are some challenges i know how to do everything with my feet literally everything the only thing i probably would say is a challenge is pumping my gas um and putting on my bottoms like tights or jeans i know how to put on shorts and stuff but i still um kind of struggle like trying to put on my jeans and tights but that is something i'm working on um another question is how long have you been doing makeup <laughs> okay so I haven't been doing makeup for like a long time you guys like I literally just started like trying to perfect my makeup because at first I wasn't a big makeup person like at all I did not know how to put on eyelashes I did not know how to do none of this stuff and last year I started doing my makeup so I'll say a year have I ever did someone else's makeup yes I have a couple of people actually another question is how do I respond to negativity that's a good question and I feel like everyone needs to listen the way I respond to negativity and foolishness because that's what it really is I ignore it I will ignore you if you have any negative thing to say to me I will not pay attention to you I will not give you the time of day no if you have anything negative to say I will ignore you and I feel like that is the best way to handle negativity for anybody another question is greatest my greatest accomplishments um ooh, I have a lot of great accomplishments um in high school well one of my things i want to do is be a motivational speaker so in high school i started to speak i started to speak to schools i spoke to life school red oak um so that was one of my greatest accomplishments another one was being on television on a reality show if no one's seen it before i was on Dion sanders family playbook family playbook <laughs> and this was like hmm some years ago but that was one of my greatest accomplishments I was on TV. Uh, what is another one? Me getting accepted into college. That was a great accomplishment. Actually, me making this YouTube channel was one of the greatest accomplishments I have ever made. Because me showing y'all how I do things with my feet and how I operate, it's just, I love the feeling. Because I want to like make sure everyone knows like anything and everything is possible so another question is lifetime goals i have a lot of lifetime goals <laughs> so i want to i want to write a book i want to have my own um reality show tv show um i want to be a motivational speaker i want to be able to travel around the world and speak and show people the blessing in the gift that God gave me so that's another lifetime goal 
The next question is, do I feel like people have tried to be my friend for publicity? I wouldn't say publicity, but I can say, like, people have tried to, like, be my friend or try to talk to me or try to hang out with me when I start coming up. Like, I have known, like, people to talk about me <laughs> and say, like, crazy stuff about me. And then when I um get the going viral, they want to be like, oh, I'm so proud of you. Don't be fake. Don't do it. Um, so, yeah, I done had people try to. Yeah, they tried it. Anyways, <laughs> do your family treat you different? No. My family treats me like everyone else. Like, my parents treat me like they treat my other siblings. My siblings treat me no type of different, like, at all. Even my aunts, my aunties, and my uncles. I only have one uncle. <laughs> but, um, you know, my family, my cousins and stuff. No, it's no different. Trust me, I gotta do everything else just like any other person. So, no, they don't treat me different. Um, another question was, who are my greatest supporters? I'm about to make this simple and sum it on up. My greatest supporters are my family. My family means everything to me. Like, literally everything to me. And so, um, that's my greatest supporters. Also, you guys are my greatest supporters. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> the people that are watching this video, y'all are my greatest supporters. Y'all motivate me to make more videos, to show y'all more things. And so, thank you. Y'all are one of my greatest supporters. Um, another question was, what motivates you? You guys motivate me, my family, um, really just, you guys really, like, motivate me to do more, like, when I see people commenting, saying that I'm an inspiration, how I make them feel that they can be confident in their self. That motivates me to show y'all more. Because it's like, I really like, love helping people. Like, that is the main thing I want to do in life, is to help people. So, that's who motivates me and what motivates me. Another question was, someone asked me, what is my common emotion? I will say happy. My common emotion is happy because if God woke me up this morning to see another day, I have no reason to be any type, any other way. I am happy. I am blessed. Okay, so another question was, um, who taught you how to do everything with your feet? God. <laughs> I really didn't get taught, like, anything. Like, I'm telling y'all literally, like, the things I do with my feet, no one ever taught me. My parents, my siblings, they all have arms. They don't know how to how I do most of the stuff with my feet. So, it's really just like a blessing, a gift from God. No one taught me. I just learned on my own. It's like my feet are my hands, like literally. Um, another question is, how many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. And also, if you go watch my last video, you, you will see my siblings. I have a um, sister that's after me. I'm the oldest, so it's a sister that's after me. And then after her are a set of twins. And then it's a girl and a boy. They're hilarious. But <laughs> I have three siblings, so I have two sisters and one brother. Another question was, what college do you attend? I attend TWU in Denton. Um, it was another question that was similar to my school. Do you like TWU? TWU stands for Texas Women's University for some of the people that didn't know. Um, I do like my school. It's, it's school. Like, <laughs> my school don't have to be jumping, popping, nothing. I came to school to get my education and get out of here. The next question is, um... 
did I ever have low self-esteem? Yes. And when I say bad, I mean bad. I used to walk around like I used to make sure I wore a jacket. I didn't care how hot it was outside. <laughs> I used to wear sleeves on my shoulders to like try to hide the fact that I didn't have arms, which that really never worked. I don't know why I did that. But yes, I did have low self-esteem. I'm over it now. I'm so over it. I'm so confident in myself. I'll just... I wouldn't want to be any other way. I know God made me like this for a reason. So, I'm really satisfied of being in my own skin. So, that low self-esteem stuff is over. Don't have low self-esteem, you guys. Nobody should have low self-esteem. Be confident in yourself. So, when I had low self-esteem problems, um, when I had low self-esteem problems, people did not, like, respect me. And you know why? Because I had low self-esteem problems. And so they was like, if she don't care about herself, then we're not going to care about her. So I, I'm here to tell you, or whoever it is, if you have low self-esteem problems, try to get over it. I promise you, people will start treating you different. When people start to see that you have confidence in yourself, or when people start to see that you don't have low self-esteem, you're comfortable in your own skin, they're going to start respecting you. Because... If I walk around here with my head down and I'm sad because I don't have any arms, people are going to be like, oh, no, I'm confident <laughs> in myself. So I'm telling you, being confident in yourself is the best thing you can ever do. Love yourself first. First. Love God first. Love yourself second. Another question is, does it irritate you when people ask a lot of questions? Sometimes, kind of, um, listen, I do everything with my feet, literally everything. So when people, when I tell somebody like, I do everything with my feet, there should be like no more questions to how you do stuff. Cause I just told you I do everything with my feet. <laughs> so that kind of like irritates me, but not really. Cause some people are just curious. So, Hey, I answer them and I move on. Another question was, what is my biggest fear? My biggest fear is God. And that's it. I think that is all the questions. So, I really thank y'all for watching this video. I hope I answered most of y'all questions. If I didn't, I will get to them. I apologize. But I will get to your questions. Um, make sure y'all comment below if y'all have any questions y'all would like me to answer i will try to get back to everyone as soon as possible um i appreciate everyone for watching this video please like please share make sure you subscribe please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna have a video coming up soon of me doing my chores and cleaning up my room so y'all can see you know how i just do different stuff but that's really it, y'all. I really appreciate y'all for watching. And I will see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>